Another funeral in Gaza. Another young life lost in a year of bloodshed here. 21-year-old Mohammed Saeed carried through streets where the tension of life under a punishing Israeli-Egyptian blockade has turned to violence. A victim, say the Gazans, of shrapnel from Israeli forces. He's mourned along with 194 of his fellow Palestinians, who the UN estimate have been killed since the protests began 12 months ago. At the border, ambulances line up in preparation for more casualties. The demonstrations here happen weekly and routinely end in confrontation, despite efforts to broker a ceasefire between Hamas and Israel. The numbers here today, driven by desperation. Every second person in Gaza lives in poverty now, and this week the enclave was rocked by Israeli airstrikes. After a rocket fired from Gaza destroyed a house in Tel Aviv, wounding several Israelis. With elections just over a week away, Israel's prime minister is under pressure. And in the last few days, the government has sent extra troops to the border, denying accusations from the UN that it's intentionally fired on civilians. Already today, tear gas has been used on the 30,000 protesters who have massed by the fence, some throwing rocks and burning tires. With Gaza more on edge than it has been in years, there is little sign of an end to the violence, nor of its devastating impact. Rachel Younger, ITV News.